NASA astronaut Kate Rubens, Russian cosmonaut Sergei Kuzmirchkov, and Russian cosmonaut and Soyuz commander Sergei Rishkov. These three are about to begin the first planned two-orbit flight to the International Space Station with humans on board, and their docking is scheduled approximately three hours after launch at 3.52 a.m. Central Time, or 1.52 p.m. Wednesday, October 14th in Baikonur. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lift off. Kate Rubin, Sergei Ryshikov, and Sergei Kuzberchkov now on their way to the International Space Station, the latest in a chain that spans almost 20 years of continuous human presence in space. Ten seconds. The parameters of the rocket are nominal. Twenty seconds. The thrusters of the first and second stage are operating nominally. Hearing first good reports of a good first stage performance, everything looking nominal. So he's currently delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine of that first stage. It measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter and burns liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of flight. 50 seconds. The pressure in the chambers is nominal. Everything is good on board. We feel well. Good reports from the crew as well. Everything looking good with today's flight. Pitch. We are rolling. And there is the separation of the four strap-on boosters that are jettisoned. These have completed their job and are dropping away now at an altitude of 28 miles above the Earth. While the Soyuz continues on with its flight, traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour, powered by the rocket's second or core... Seconds. Rocket parameters are nominal. It's all still looking good, and the next milestone we're looking for is the jettison of the launch shroud at 2 minutes and 37 seconds. And you see that launch shroud jettison. We're now getting uh, some views from the external rocket camera. Copy you. Looking towards the bottom of this rocket uh, and at the Earth below, solar arrays waiting to be unfurled once the space craft reaches orbit safely. Four minutes and 45 seconds in, third stage is igniting. Second stage uh, should be shutting down. We have confirmation of the initiation of thrusters of the second, third stage and unpowering of thrusters of the second stage. Copy all, we feel well, everything is nominal on board. I understand. As you heard there, everything's still looking good. Core booster separated at an altitude of 105 miles, and with it gone, Soyuz is now being prope propelled by a single engine of its third stage. That engine provides 67,000 pounds of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. 520 seconds. Everything is nominal. Prepare for the separation. Thrusters powered off, confirmed.
operation is confirmed. And there you heard the confirmation that the third stage cut off and separated as planned. Single liquid fueled engine shut down and dropped away at an altitude of 126 miles above the Earth. And there you see now also the Soyuz has unfurled. That's a key milestone as well to ensure that the Soyuz is able to power itself on its journey to the International Space Station. I see through the 